first accident I've seen. Someone's hit him on the bum. Okay, I'm at the Walcherson National Park. It's 10.15. There's hardly any cars here. And I'm going for a little walk. I've just seen the lady ranger. She's given me this walk to do from here, up here, down here, which is three to four hours. Up here is like six, eight hours, so I don't have time for that. And unfortunately, there's no water, or the waterfall's way up here, which is about six hours away, so this is just going to be a nature walk. So I'll see how we go. Okay, you are here. It's amazing how it knows exactly where you are. So I have to walk one kilometre, 2.4, uh, 2.9, 4, 5.2. It looks like it's about six kilometres. That's the loop I'm going to do. And uh, hopefully you might see some animals. Not human type. Ah, oh, apparently there's uh, turtles here. And looks like uh, fly catchers. Oh, there we go. First bit of water. Probably the place I'll see for waterfall today. And so we have our first bridge crossing. All the trees, the last couple of days have been 17 degrees and everything is suddenly opening up. The leaves are coming out and everything is starting to turn green instead of a bare dead look. It'd be awesome to come here in the autumn when everything changes colour. But we can't do both things. We are now here. So we walked about 500 meters. Oh, it's really good. Okay. There's one camellia flower on this huge tree. Up the rocky road. And up the rocky road we go. Oh, 
Okay, this is the lightning strike zone. Luckily there's no clouds. Okay, we've come to the first crossroads. We've walked from here one kilometre and we can we're now going to go this way to the right up and back here and we'll come out just there see can't get lost at all if you continue up this way there's lots of camping and there's a, a bridge which goes across a couple of canyons spectacular but it's eight hours to walk up to here you have to camp overnight and i don't have time and up here there's a waterfall once again that's eight hours to get up there have to camp overnight maybe next time okay we now have another river crossing it looks dangerous i have to do the the tarzan swing watch out for biting terrapins which are nowhere to be seen She goes. Here's an interesting sign. If you have a heart attack, call this number. I must remember that. This is one that's shaped like one of those fly traps. I don't think it is. It's just a nice little hood. Okay, so where's another crossroads here? 2.2, we've walked 0.8 to the next peak and 1.5 to the bridge. It's also the watering hole. Get your fee drinks. So it doesn't look, it doesn't sound very far to the the bridge but it's obviously very steep because they've got it marked as expert this one I've just done they've marked it easy which it was there's the view so far I wonder if that's the peak you can climb if I can make a nice view from it not for this little scary cat Must be a peak up ahead because we're climbing steeply now. The bamboo is well and truly taken over here. That's all you can see. Lucky the path's clear. Okay, so car park we started. We're now here. 1.2 is to the bridge which is that way that's supposed to be a couple of hours I marked it as expert I'm now going this way which is regarded as intermediate so we go 0.2 up to the peak for the view and then keep going to get to here and then we take this road back to the car park and this is the view. We're going up those steps to the top and then down to the side of the mountain. I can see some people on a bit of a ledge. Must be heading for the bridge. having some time out. So this 
this is a view from halfway up to the next peak. Feel on top of the world up here. It's like the movie, the bridge too far. Just too far to go today. Oh, a couple of spare days would be right. You can see where the bridge is in relation to where those guys are. The one over there. So it's going to take a bit of height to get there. It's 0.3 kilometers up to this next peak. Just a few more steps. Okay. I hereby name this the Cave of Entry. Or Entry Cave. Oh, it's nice and cool in there. Oh. Oh, that's the view. It's time for emergency food time. Uh, I've got it. A biscuit here which I'll save him for Yogi but he's not showing up so bugger him. I've got some chocolate biscuits, some water, some yogurt and some Yakult. Just a nice little healthy lunch. Okay so we came from the Chen Wang parking lot 3.4. We're now heading down. We've just come from the peak. 0.3 it was and now we're going to head down to the Chen Wang parking lot 2.7 this way. And it says there's a waterfall on the way. This is the intermediate level according to the map. So, we'll try and see what it's like. This is called a chunky road. Quick show of the view. That's another view of the bridge. Show they didn't have a zip line from here down to it. So close and yet so far. I just came from before. It's supposed to be the highest peak. Ironic, we're actually we're going down, but we're actually getting closer to the bridge. It's on the other side of the the chasm, so it's closer, but still actually further away. and get a good shot of it. This is another viewing point and these six rocks here I'm not making this up are called the Six Brothers Rocks. There's a ladder going down to the bridge.
It'll be three and a half just going down the ladder there. Just to get to it. Okay, it's so just another junction here. One kilometre back to where I just came from. Barren Falls Point 2. The parking lot, two kilometres. I don't think there's going to be water in the, the falls. I haven't heard any water at all for ages. Well, I got myself a waterfall. Barren Pokbo Falls. Another the one, you match water in it. Just enough for a quick shower. We've got an automatic recording which starts every so often at these places. It tells you probably a bit about the falls, but of course it's all in Korean. And it's all lit up at night it looks like. Uh, I think there's a little uh, solar power up there, panel. Just fill the water bottle up. It's nice cold clean mountain water. I don't believe it. We've just come, we're here, and there's a road up to the bridge, it's only 3.3 kilometres. To be this close, I can, I can see the bridge through the trees, it's only 300, uh, 300 metres, it's going to be straight up, but what the hell? This is going to be a, a breath test. There she is. You thought you'd get away from me, didn't you? You little mongrel. Walk right around her. This must be the way down. So I can just go up. Such a shorter distance. At least they've got steps. waiting. Just a few more. Uh, don't go away. Waste not, won't not. It's like someone's orange or something. Okay, this is a view from just below the bridge. Someone's in trouble. And there's the bridge. So this wasn't a bridge too far. This was a bridge nice and close. Okay, it says no more than 20 people on the bridge at any one time. Uh, there's nobody on it, so we're all right. Okay. So, you thought you'd escape me, eh? Looks just like the other one. There's a waterfall that was out a few minutes ago. Looking up the bridge thinking, it's so close, why can't I get to it? Someone must have heard me and built these steps for me. Isn't that generous? That goes to show nothing's impossible if you want it to happen. Okay. Got a film going across the bridge so that people don't think I faked it. 
Very sturdy. Be a great place to commit suicide if you if you want it. There's people coming up. Good thing is I have to go back down again, but it should be nice and easy. Steps all the way. Again, I just spoke to this guy I met about an hour ago, or no, an hour and a half ago. And he said he was going to the bridge and he's gone the hard way. He reckons it took him an hour and a half from when he saw me. And i just taken a little stroll. He's taken me less than half an hour. So now he's going to go down the same way as I came up. So I've saved all that time and effort. The question is, do I feel lazy? No. I call it resourceful. So now all we have to do is go down. Which is going to be a lot easier than coming up. See ya bridge. Got all the trouble just to... And then they've got to build the bridge. After building all these steps. Well, we've finally come down. The question is, is it the same car park? Oh, see that? He knew I was coming. Thank you, James. For the automatic. This is the centre. This is all different, but maybe it's down the way. My first Korean ice cream. In a tub, that is. 2001, what's that? $2.50. Well deserved, I would say. Well, there's the bridge. I'm down near the car park now. And that's the bridge. The bridge too far, which worked out to be not too far. It's a long way now. Thanks for the memory. So I've somehow come down the mountain uh, at the wrong car park. So the taxi is taking me to the right car park. I don't know how far it is. So here we are. We've just uh, come back to the car park which I started from, 13 kilometres away. So I must have walked down the mountain the opposite side of the mountain from where we are here. Yeah, this taxi driver has just brought me back. Yes. I suppose it had to happen some stage. That's the trouble with these mountains. They've got so many car parks. And the signs aren't very well marked when you're on the mountain. That's my excuse, That's my excuse anyway. How's this for a laugh? Here's a taxi driver just driving off after dropping me off 16 kilometers from my original spot. There's my car waiting. So I started off, done the walk, somehow got off the track. It, it, as I said, there's not many, the signs aren't well, well marked and there's lots of turn offs. So I've, I've ended up on the opposite side of the mountain 
16 kilometers from where I started. So lucky there was one, only one taxi there. He probably gets used to looking for tourists who get lost. Well, that was an adventure. It cost me 15, 16,000, which is $20. It cost me $20 to get, get here. <laughs> Okay, my last hotel uh, before I go back to Jeju. So this is the VIP hotel it's called, room 710. So I'm here for two nights. So we have a heated toilet again, the sink and a bath, which I asked for. The usual fridge, two drinks, two waters. TV, towels, computer, never used that yet, and a large bed. So $50 a night for two nights. So, coffee and a bath.